The first thing we'll do, we'll try to fade in the header when the page loads. Okay, so we'll need to target the header, get access to the DOM element, and then tweak the opacity of it with a slight delay. Okay, so that's what we'll do first. But to be able to target the header, we need to include use refs or use ref from React, and then we can use it inside of our app and create a new constant. We'll call it a header ref because it will be reference to our header and we will set the default value to null. So when the page loads, it's not selected. We need to then use the header ref inside of the header tag. Okay, so ref equals header ref. We'll then now make sure that the default value is overwritten with reference to our header. Okay, so that's how we using ref and targeting the header. If you are completely new to React hooks, then check out my React 101, where you can learn more about React hooks and how to, how to target elements on the page as well. Now we can use another React hook, use effect, and create a use effect inside of our React app. We'll set the dependency to be the header ref. So when it changes, we want to just console log it. Okay, so console log and we'll include the header ref. Okay, just to see what we actually dealing with when the header is selected. Okay, so let's save it, view it in a browser. And in the dev tools, we'll see the log being printed out and we have a current that it is an object with current property and that points to the header itself. Okay, so if I click on this header, we'll go to the elements view and we'll see that we are targeting the header. Okay, so this is perfect. This is what we need to be able to pass into Greensock Twin to be able to modify the CSS on the header. Okay, so we will need to get access to the dot current. So header ref dot current will be our element that we want to animate. 